Hello everyone, welcome to Information with Tepiso. I am Tepiso Arangwejana and you tuned in to Wednesday the 11th of October 2023's Rhapsody Reading. Today's title is Your Tongue is the Compass. While you're still at that, please remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Kindly like and share these videos with your loved ones and do not hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below. The opening scripture is James chapter 3 verse 2 which reads as follows. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man and able also to brittle the whole body. Proverbs 18 verse 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. It parallels what the master said in Matthew chapter 12 verse 37. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Through your thoughts, your character is formed, but it's expressed through your words. Your mouth work is your life. As revealed in our opening verse, Christian perfection or maturity is expressed primarily in your communication. If you want to go in the right direction in life, your tongue is the compass. If you offend in words, you are sunk. But if your communication is wholesome, your life will be great. Your speech controls you. Proverbs 15 verse 4 says, A wholesome tongue is a tree of life. I love the way Peter puts it in 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 10. It says, For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. In other words, maintain the right confession. Your mouth is where your blessing is. Romans 10 verse 10 says, With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. It's a principle. God said to Joshua, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. We see that in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. That means keep affirming the word. No matter what's happening around you, keep the word on your lips. The Bible says, when men are cast down, oh hallelujah, then thou shalt say, you see, it says, thou shalt say, there is a lifting up. You will not be speaking of the casting down. Instead, you're speaking of the lifting up. Glory be to God. That's Job chapter 22 verse 29. Again, the emphasis is on what you say. When things are tough and rough or vice versa, you are not to wait to be lifted. You have a lifting power. It's in your mouth. Praise the Lord. What is it that you want? It's all in your mouth. That's the compass with which you steer your life aright in the direction of God's perfect will. Blessed be God. Let us take the confession. Say, I have a wholesome tongue. My words are sculpted in line with God's perfect will and direction for my life. I walk in divine health. I walk in divine prosperity. I walk in victory, success, and financial abundance. In Jesus' name, amen. For further studies, we read Matthew 12, verse 37 with the AMPC Bible version, Mark 11, verse 23. If you're on the one-year Bible reading plan, today we read Colossians 4, verse 2 to 18, and Isaiah chapter 52 to chapter 53. If you're on the two-year Bible reading plan, today we read John chapter 5, verse 10 to 18, and 1 Kings chapter 17 to chapter 18, all of it. Ladies and gentlemen, 
We've come to the end of today's Rhapsody reading. Do join us tomorrow as we read the message titled, A Calling to Glory and Virtue. Praise the Lord. This is Information with Tepiso. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a beautiful day.